If you use Kajabi to host your online business, you have to take full advantage of automations and tags. In this video, I wanna show you a simple way to use automations and tags in a waitlist page. What's a waitlist page? It's where you might have a course or a membership site that you have closed for enrollment, but you still want to capture people when they go to the sales page. This is how you can capture people, get their information, get them on your email list, and then tag them as someone who's interested in joining that course or membership site. So I'm gonna take you inside of my Kajabi and show you exactly how to do this so that you can do this in your Kajabi. And if you're watching this to explore Kajabi just to see if it's right for you, you can actually use my link to try Kajabi for free, but you actually get something really cool with my link, and that is my $25,000 dollar course launch email template. These are the exact emails that I used and the exact launch strategy that I used to launch my first course on Kajabi and make over $25,000 in the first three launches of that course. I learned a ton in that process and I think I've really honed a launch strategy and email strategy for launching that I think is really gonna help you. So go check out Kajabi if you're interested in it. Use my link, you'll get the free trial, you get my course template, and it's gonna be awesome. And I can't wait to see what you do on it. So that's lanesebring.com slash Kajabi. All right, so let's take a look inside my Kajabi. So this is actually my website, so preachingdonkey.com. This is the website that I have that helps preachers communicate better. And this is my courses page. So if you click right here, it's gonna bring up these three options. Now, this course right here and this course right here are both open for enrollment. So if you click on Killer Sermons Academy, it's actually gonna take you to the sales page for Killer Sermons Academy. And it's gonna be this, you know, kind of long form sales page that takes you down and gives you the opportunity to determine what tier you wanna buy and purchase the course. But, if you click on Advanced Coaching Community, which is not open for enrollment, this is my membership site, it's gonna take you to this, right? It's gonna take you to a simple waiting page, a wait list page. So it just says, enrollment is currently closed. Join the waiting list for Advanced Coaching Community. You'll be the first to know when enrollment opens back up. And then you can sign up for the waiting list by putting your name here and your email here. So what I wanna show you is exactly how to make this page including the form that you need to make and then how to set up an automation so that when people join the waiting list, they're assigned a tag so that you know that they're interested in joining the wait list. So all that starts right in here under website and then pages. And then I just went to create a new page and I made the advanced coaching community waiting list. So if I go to customize, that's gonna bring up editing this page. So this is a simple couple of things. All this is right here is just text. And I did the enrollment is currently closed. I put in join the wait list. The way to do this is if you want this header, this header font, you just go up to formats, hit headings, heading one or heading two, and it will give you that big block font. And then uh, under here is just paragraph format for that. So th that's that right there. For the background, I just put a little bit of color to draw it out from the, the the white background of my website. This right here is a form and it's managed over here. So the first thing I needed to do was actually create this form, which I'll go and show you here in a second where I made that. But there's a drop down where you actually search for the forms that you have. And in this case, I had made advanced coaching community uh, wait list, waiting list form. And then in terms of the thank you page, there's a, it just goes to a landing page which takes them to my books. Eventually I'll make a thank you page that actually might promote a different one of my products, but for now it just goes to my book uh, page. So that's what's right here. And before I get to the form and the automation itself, I wanna point out kind of why this is so simplistic. I mean, why does it just look like this? because I love there to be a little bit of intrigue, right? When somebody lands on the course page and they go, wow, advanced coaching community, this looks really cool, you know, private coaching community, ongoing practical training, personalized coaching. So they click on it and they're a bit disappointed. That's actually by design because I want there to be a sense of, gosh, the sales page isn't available. I, I can't find any information on this. I'm really curious. 
I guess I have to sign up for the waiting list to get any information on this and to be the first to know. That's by design. I'm not saying you have to do it that way. Some people offer incentives on these page where they'll give a few downloads and ways that people can get some kind of freebies if they sign up. But for now, all I'm doing is saying, if you wanna be the first to know, then sign up. And obviously having this disclaimer is really good because if they give me their email address, they're gonna be put on my email list. And so I wanna make sure that I'm being clear about that. So now that you've seen kind of the finished product, I wanna show how that got developed. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to go to marketing and you have to go to forms. And under forms, you can click add a new form and you can title it whatever you want. So I had done that and then I saved it. So let me just advanced coaching community and I'll put a one there and I hit save. So from here, what it does is it gives you whether you wanna do double opt-in or single opt-in, and then you can do the fields that the form's gonna have, name or email, and then automation. And this is where I added when the form is submitted, right? So the advanced coaching community waiting list one, then what I wanna do is I wanna add a tag, and the tag is going to be a tag that I created called interested in advanced coaching community, and then I save that. So what happens here is when this form is submitted, then a tag is added. So those people I know are interested in advanced coaching community. Now I had already made this form. So let me go to community waiting list, like the normal one. And you can see that all that's already done. I did single opt-in, name, email, uh, advanced coach community waiting list, and they're given the tag interested in advanced coaching community. So what that means is this right here is actually that form. It's actually the advanced coaching community waiting list. So anywhere this form appears on my website, like I can, I can put it really anywhere I want. And if somebody submits name and email and submits to that form, then it's going to automatically give them this tag interested in advanced coaching community. So where you do tags is right here under people, you go to manage tags and you can go add tag and that's where you can put in a, a new tag. So I put in interested in advanced coaching community. I just did this a couple of days ago so there's not actually anybody who has signed up on that sad face. Um, but you can see the different tags that I have here. So that's just a simple thing that Kajabi provides for you where you can set up a form, set up an automation and tag people so that you can keep track of who's doing what and where, and this is a really easy way for me to set up a waitlist page. And once I reopen this course, then what will happen is instead of going to this page, I'm gonna set it up where when I click on this, it goes to the sales page of the advanced coaching community. And that's super easy to do and I'll show you maybe in another video. But that's a really quick example of how to set up automations and tags. There's so many different ways you can do it. I have so many different automations kind of happening through my Kajabi, whether it's based on when people open emails, when people click on certain things, there's just no end to how many different ways you can set up tags. That's really, really fun to do. And this is just one of the many examples. At this point, you might have more questions about Kajabi, how to use it, whether it's for you. I want you to check out this playlist right here where I'm gonna get into all that. I've got tons of reviews and tutorial videos all about Kajabi. It will answer all your questions. So click right here on this playlist and I'll see you in there and we'll talk more about Kajabi.